Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick. Oh my gosh, check it out. It's another Don't Star playthrough. That's right, and I'm gonna make sure this one lasts longer because I'm not gonna die. I promise we do it, so let's do it. So we're gonna take a look at the mods we're gonna be running for this game this time. We're running a lot more than we have before. A lot of cool mods, but not too cheaty. Except for one mod that's pretty cheaty. And I'm gonna show it to you guys so you guys can see what it's like and so we can kind of see what it's all about. So we're gonna play with better traps. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I like the Brass Lantern mod, it's pretty cool. Clockwork Tooth Trap, a little bit more advanced, but I do like these automatic traps. Uh, Deep Freezer, cool mod by Afro1967. Same with Evergreens, Lunchbox, I like that. I got the mini map, HUD enabled. I'm not gonna disable mini tools, I'm not gonna be using it, but I use this a lot for my uh, in-game mod reviews I do, so I, I like to leave that on. Um, we're not going to be using the Picklet mod. I thought about this for a while, but I thought it'd be best not to. A little too complicated for me. We'll have the RPG HUD mod. We'll have the Storm Cellar mod. We're not going to be playing the Screecher. Again, too many items. This is enabled, but we're not going to be using it. You guys can call me on cheats whenever you like. I won't spawn anything in, I promise. And, of course, Wall Gates. That's a pretty cool mod. And, of course, Wilson's Cabin, the most recent review I did, and I think it's a really awesome mod. Now, there's one we didn't talk about here. Compromising Survival. Now... This is a very cheaty mod. Pretty much what this does is when I die, I can come back to life. Now, I know it kind of takes away from the game, but I'm really not that good at this game. I'd really like to make a playthrough the last, you know, 100 episodes, but I can't stay alive that long. So, let's do this, and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a little death count right here in the top right corner. And we'll see how long we can play and how often I die. I think it'll be pretty cool. So, let's get started. Um, new game, we're going to go right in. We're going to go with... I like Wilson, we're going to stick with Wilson, the world is just going to be a standard world, nothing nothing fancy with that compromising survival, I think it's pretty uh, cheaty enough, so let's get right to it. Nope, we don't look so hot. Alright, let's do it. Get out of there, Maxwell. Alright, so here we are, we got our mini-map, let's go and explore. Now, the one thing I did learn from all my places of this game is that you should collect anything you can as soon as you can, but at the same time, we're going to be exploring for the next couple days. So let's do this. All right. I forgot how cool Don't Starve is, too. I haven't actually, like, played a game in a while. And the last time when I was doing the uh, the haunted house, sorry, not the haunted house, Wilson's Cabin review, I just had to build a little base there, and I loved it so much. And I'm like, it's about time we did another one. Pick up some carrots. That's pretty cool. It's not very Christmassy, though. I was surprised that Don't Starve didn't do, like, a Christmas update or something just with, like, a Christmas tree. Or if somebody would have done, like, a cool, like, Christmas mod, that would have been kind of cool. But that's all right, though. I know it's a lot of work making mods. All right, get some more grass. We're going. To, oh, <laughs> there's a. Speaking of Christmas, there's a turkey. Pick up that flint, some saplings, sweet, some more carrots. Wow, we spawned into a really like food-rich area to start with. All right, sweet. We'll chase that bunny until he's terrified. Now I don't actually remember. How do I? Uh, I think I have enough to build an axe now, don't I? I think so. There we go. And I think if I do that, let's see, axe. Yep, axe, nice. And we should build a pickaxe while we're at it. All right, let's chop down this stuff. Sweet. Look at all the animations, I love it. I love this game, it's so much fun this game. You can play this for hours, but the only problem is I die all the time. So that new compromising survival mod, I know it's pretty cheaty, guys, I won't lie, but we're not going to just, like, play, like, I don't know, like, we're, just, we're not just going to go YOLO into every single, uh, into every single battle we can. We're still going to play like we're going to die, it's just, I might actually stand a chance of staying alive, so it's pretty cool. Okay, get some more grass. Wow, we've got a lot of resources already. We're not wasting any time. Alright, I'm going to go and explore a little bit, guys. I'm going to fast forward it like I normally do. I'll see you in a little bit.
right, guys, and we are back. So it's about day two. We've pretty much gone in a complete circle. We're going to fill in the gap right now. I found, I guess we just found a ring thing. We found two wormholes, or as I like to say, giant anuses. And we also found a swamp. Now, I'm pretty sure we can keep going to the left a little bit. I haven't found anywhere that I would really like to settle down in just yet. Uh, story of my life. Um, also, though, we found a bunch of, like, honey, I guess, uh, what do you call them? Beehives. They're pretty cool. We went through a few torrential downpours. I'm going to keep exploring, guys. I'm going to see where we can find our cool base camp. One thing's for sure. We have collected a lot of resources, which is awesome. This is something I never really did in the last game. I never went out of my way to collect this many resources so early in the game. I mean, we, we got a full stack of grass. We have... You know, 19 carrots, 13 berries, and, you know, we got lots of wood, too. I mean, wood we can find all the time, but it's pretty easy for right now. So I'm going to keep exploring, and I'll chit-chat with you guys in a little bit. Right, guys and we are back it is day three and things are looking pretty promising we did a lot of exploring yesterday holy these guys are in good shape we got a beefalo herd um is a big savanna biome there's a suspicious dirt pile over there that i'd like to investigate in a little bit there's a lot of stone in here lots of grass actually right here is a pretty good spot there's a crap ton of bunny biome or bunnies right here we're close to beefaloes. I don't think we're close enough to have trouble from the red butts. Wow, this is a really big beefalo herd. That is a really big beefalo herd. Awesome. I honestly think we should set up shop right here. I don't I don't see why not. It's a good spot. Got lots of bunny hutches or bunny hutches, bunny holes. Lots of stone that I'm gonna mine right now. Let's do it. Let's mine up some stone right now. And I think we'll build our uh, our uh, our campfire right here and maybe set up shop. One thing is, there isn't much wood here, but we got lots of pine cones that we can plant. Oh no, it broke. Okay, we'll build another one. Lots of pine cones we can plant, and we can always go and collect wood and bring it back too. All right, let's 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 start off with that. Let's plant up our pine cones. Uh, let's put that over there. Pine cones, right away. Plant them in the right here along this wall. That's pretty cool. We'll get them right here. These are important because there's no trees here, and this will be our only source of wood while we're camping out at home. Sweet. We got some wood right there. And, yeah. Let's, uh... I think right there is a good enough spot. I like it. Let's make an actual campfire. Fire pit. Well, that's what I meant. We got... I guess I did that too soon. We wasted a little bit of wood. Not a big deal. Let's equip our axe. And let's go and, uh... Get us some wood for the night. Because I don't know if we have enough. So, yeah. It's right down here. Right south. We got a pretty big forest. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. That's the one problem when you set up shop and you kind of turtle inside your base. Is that you're kind of far away from everything. I was originally going to set up shop right here. Where there's even more bunny hutches or bunny bases there. But there's just too many uh, too many beefaloes up there to say no to. Alright, we'll grab some of these guys. We'll chop these down. We'll get our alchemy engine set up or our science machine set up. And we'll come in and uh, pick up all these bushes. And all these twig branches and all these sticks and we'll set up shop and get started. I think we're doing pretty good for day three. We're doing pretty freaking good. I actually thought for the most part, guys, we'd make three-day episodes. Um, they're usually just the right length, I find. But for the first episode, we're going to make it a little longer because we, uh, we fast-forwarded a lot of it when I was exploring. So it's uh, not the same. You really got to apologize, guys. I'm talking a little bit funny. I had my braces adjusted and my tongue is like all scratched up from the wire and it's all swollen. So uh, if I'm sounding a little... Oh no! If I sound a little funny, please understand. It'll go away soon. There we go. There we go. Collected lots of pine cones and lots of wood. Let's head back up home base. I also found another touchstone. I thought that was pretty cool. We set up a bunch there. There we are. Let's plant our pine cones right away. Not too far from the campfire. 
yeah, nothing like that. I never really understood like what, like how some people make such perfect bases, like they're like perfectly square and stuff. Now I know there's mods like I think it's called architectural geometry that'll take care of that for you, but I kind of you know as much as I cheat and don't starve, I don't. But this mod that we're running is kind of cheaty. At least this way we'll uh, still play the game for what it is. Alrighty, there we go. We got our trees planted, and all right, let's uh, let's eat a little bit here. We got our trees planted. We got our fire pit set up. We're in decent shape. We got a lot of food to last us a while, and uh, we haven't even really done any hunting yet. Let's eat all that up. Sweet. Okay. Next, let's uh, let's get some traps set up. Can I set up some traps? Yep. Lots of traps. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I think that's enough. I don't want to use up any more grass, although we have plenty of it right here. Set trap. Set trap. Nice. All right. You know what? We'll collect some more grass. We'll make one more trap. Why not? Final trap. Sweet. All right. Look at all this. We are set already. Okay. Set trap. Look at that. Within three days, we got our base camp set up. Put a little more fuel there before we die. In three days, we got our base camp set up. We set up, I guess, all of our pine cones. We got our trees growing, so we have an ample supply of wood pretty soon. That's pretty good. We also have a bunch of traps set up. I think seven traps is what we got set. That is pretty good. I can't really complain about that. In the immediate area, there's lots of grass, lots of bee flows. We already got four poop. I'm not sure why I'm carrying this nighter. We'll drop that off right there. There we have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Make sure to tell me what you guys want me to do, where you want me to explore, if I'm missing something, or maybe I did a mistake. Let me know in the comments, guys. I always read them, and I try my best to respond to every single one, and I don't think I missed one yet. Thanks again, guys. Tune in next time. We're going to go and explore some more, hopefully get our science machine set up. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.